But yeah, I actually made a video, was it last night, talking about anti-Semitic. And basically, I'm wearing a blue t-shirt in that video. Um, I was basically saying something along the lines of, um, you know, I don't know nothing about anti-Semitic and that. And for me, I don't see why we should care who's the real Jews or who's this or who's that. How is knowing, yeah, who's the real this and who's that, how is that helping you as an individual? That's not helping me. Okay, I'm a real Israelite or whatever, innit? but how's that helping me? That's helping me get a mortgage. How's that helping me earn money? How's that helping me buy a nice car? How's that helping me be happy? How will knowing that I'm a fucking real Israelite, how is that going to help when I have children put them through private tuition or private school? And you want to get mad and angry and start wars over this thing? Come on, man. Come on. That's why I don't read into all of this stuff. Fucking, it's a distraction, man. <laughs> it's a distraction, man. But yeah, look out for that video. Isn't it? I'm wearing a blue t-shirt. I'm sitting right over there. And obviously, I'm sitting in my kitchen making that video. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The, the reason why these people obsess about this information, right? I believe there's people in this world, they need to feel like they're angry all the time. Yeah? They need to constantly feel like they're oppressed. They need to constantly feel that they've been robbed and whatever they've been robbed for has not been returned. So it's an excuse to not achieve. It's an excuse to not put in the work. It's an excuse to not get off your ass. This is why I have a serious passion for making these videos talking about, you know, if you're black, you have to work twice as hard for half the result. Let's say, let's say right now, yeah, if you are black, you're going to have it harder, right? Do you think, that, do you think that's going to stop me? Life is about overcoming adversity. Now, I'm, I'm going to change the name of my book. So my book was originally going to be called From Prison to Properties, but I'm going to change it. It's either going to be called something along the lines of overcoming adversity, defeating of adversity or something like that. As a man, right, you need to be able to overcome adversity. I practice Taekwondo, yeah? Taekwondo is a martial art, yeah? In order to win a fight, we have to score more points than someone else, yeah? Than our opponent. We start off at nil-nil, yeah? One man's wearing red, one man's wearing blue, yeah? It's like the Crips and the Bloods, yeah? If they said to me, right, because you are black, you can't start at zero like your opponent, like your foe. Because you are black, you have to start three points behind or five points behind. If they said to me, are you still going to enter the fight? Hell yes, of course I'm still going to enter the fight. If I was a 100-meter sprinter, if they say everyone starts at the line there, yeah, but you have to start two meters back, I'll still run that race. I'm not going to not run that race just because I might be at a disadvantage. As you know, the people who usually come from the disadvantaged backgrounds are the ones that make more of an improvement than the people who come from an advantaged background. Let me give it to you in numbers, right? Let's say you come from a disadvantaged background, yeah? I guarantee there's more people that will, let's say they level up five levels, yeah? So the people who come from a disadvantaged background, let's say they start off with minus two, yeah? They will make it to level three, yeah? The people that come from an advantaged background, they usually only level up once, one level or two levels, because they, they don't need to work hard, so they get complacent. I've come a lot far from where I've actually started. That's how I come from a disadvantaged background. 
You know, I never blame it on the colour of my skin or nothing like that. Life is not fair. Sometimes it's going to be people who come from advantaged backgrounds, they're millionaires from day one. And then some people grow up poor. If you're going to be successful, you're going to be successful. It don't matter what your, your, your background is or whatever, really. If you have a tough beginning, a tough start, that teaches you to strive and work harder. But black people don't, they don't see it like that. They just, oh, the white man, the government's holding us back. Bullshit, man. Um, yeah, highs and lows in life, man. Sometimes you're winning. Sometimes you're not. But when you're not winning, those are the times where, yeah, the, your, your, your true self will come out. Your true self will come out. Everyone likes to go on to social media and show everyone how well they're doing. That's all social media is, you know. It's just a place to show everyone the good that's happening in, in their life. But put it this way, no one ever shows anyone or no one ever shows himself when they're not doing too well. Yeah? You got man coming on social media, on Instagram, wearing that flashy latest clothes, nicest clothes, drip UK or whatever. Yeah? You know what I'm talking about. Looking all prestigious in the Mercedes and that. But they never show the times where they're hungry. They never show the times where they lose their job. They never show the times when they're depressed. It only shows one side. That's all social media is, just one sided. Mm. Definitely a false reality, man.